Hello friends, welcome to the new video. Today we are going to study the additional provisions regulating employment of women in factories. So first we are going to the introduction. The Factories Act is a welfare legislation enacted with an intention to regulate working condition in the factories and to provide health, safety and welfare measures. Now, first of all, this concept is related to the Factories Act and uh, why this act came into force. As this act came into force as to bring and regulate the working condition of women in the factories. As they are uh, very poor working conditions, as there are no health measures, no safety measures or welfare measures relating to the women who is working in the factories. Okay, so we come to the second that is the besides the act in wages to regulate the working hours, leave, holidays, overtime, employment of children, women and young person etc. As it's regulate the working hours, leave, holidays, overtimes, employment of children, working and young person and many more. Exclusive provisions for women have also been incorporated in the act, keeping in view their soft and tender personality. As the women are soft and to safe and to provide certain majors and to provide certain activities which are not in the welfare of the women in the factories. So this act became into force. The act was devastically amended in 1984. So the act was amended in the year 1984 whereby safeguards against use and handling over hazardous substances and procedure of setting up hazardous industries were laid down. So these are the provisions for the welfare of women. So welfare of women ke kya -kya provisions the so we are going to read them now. The first one is the prohibition of employment of women during night hours, prohibition of women work in hazardous occupation, prohibition of employment of women in pressing cotton where a cotton opener is at work, fixation of daily hour of work at 9, fixation of maximum permissible load uh, fifth point ka ye ki as a uh, woman hai wo ek particular weight utha sakti hai to ek weight tak specify kiya gaya is act mein jo hum aage further padhne wale hain ki ek woman kitna weight utha sakti hai hum wo padhenge usme weight tak mention kiya gaya hai okay so provision of crutch ye jo crutch hai wo bahut zyada important hai as if you see uh, to the point of a woman ke point of view se socha jaye ki bahut important hai crutches women ke liye Washing and bathing facilities should be there for women and separate washing and bathing facilities should be available in a factory where a woman is working. Provision for separate latrines and urine, it is must and every woman has a right to use. Provision for restrooms and canteens should be there and the provision for maternity benefits. Okay, these are the rights of the women. Now we come to the safety measures or the health measures. Now we come to the section 22, subsection 2 of the Act Act 1948 that provides no woman shall be allowed to clean, lubricate or adjust any part of a prime mover or of any transmission machinery while the prime mover or transmission machinery is in motion. As a Women will not fix or adjust or clean any part of a machine when the machine is in motion. As we can more clarify it through a case law that is in Pearson versus Belgium Company Limited in 1896. The question was whether a woman could clean the stationary part of a machine if the machine as a whole is in motion. The court held that even stationary parts of the machinery could not be cleaned by a woman if the machinery as a whole is in motion. 
it's very well clear through the case law as case law is very important in law now we come to the section 27 of the factories act 1948 that prohibits the employment of women in any part of a factory for pressing cotton in which a cotton opener is at work and now we come to the landmark case that is b n gamadia versus emperor the bombay high court observed that the provision of a section are not complied with if the door is divided between the two parts of the room and opened by a woman employed while the door is shut but not locked or if other effective means are taken to prevent the door from being opened by a woman okay now we come to the section 34 of the factories act 1948 that no woman employee shall lift carry or move by hand or on the head of any material article tool or appliance exceeding the maximum limit in weight of 30 kilograms as i've already disc uh, discussed about the weight ki koi bhi woman kuch lift nahi karegi more than the weight of 30 kilograms or any material article tool or appliance it is anything the woman will not lift Section 42, subsection 2, clause D, deals with that the Factory Act 1948 that there shall be at least one woman worker in the, the canteen managing committee. Ki har canteen managing committee mein ek woman hona bohot zaruri hai. Now we come to the prohibition of work in hazardous occupation. In section 27, the Factory Act also prohibits the employment of women in pressing cotton where a cotton opener is at work. Okay. There is a provision that if the feed end of a cotton opener is in a work separated from the delivery end by a partition to the roof or to such height as the inspector may in any particular case specify end. Writing women may be employed on the side of the partition where the feed end is situated. Section 87 of the Factory Act 1948 impasse the state government to prohibit employment of women in dangerous occupation. As state government ne prohibit the activity employment of women kahi nahi hogi jahan dangerous operations kare ja rahi hai. Jar dangerous operation activities ho rahi hai. Now we come to the section 34 state that the maximum permissible load to safeguard women against the dangerous arise out of lifting too heavy weight. The fact is act authorize the appropriate government to lift the maximum load that may be lifted by women. Rules framed by all the state government except UP. I fixed the following maximum weight for women employed in factories as a weight prescribed hai ek adult adolescent children kitna wo jo female category mein wo kitna weight utha sakte hain okay guys 65 50 to 30 now we move further to the prohibition of night work night work ki prohibition ke liye act section given hai which is given under Factory Act that is section 66 sub section 1b that no woman shall be required or allowed to work in any factory except between the hour of 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's very well clear that no woman can be allowed to work between the time which is given to 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now there's a case law that is uh, Triveni KS and others versus Union of India and others in 2002. Uh, the section 66 includes of the constitution was challenged to be discriminatory on the basis of sex as uh, this is a discrimination between a male and a female on the basis of work time so the high court held that women should not be employed for their own safety and welfare even during the night was an ideology for an east white age that was out of tune with modern requirements for equality, especially between the sexes. 
with regard to an exception provided to the fishing and canning industry this was postulated that it would seem a ridiculous assertion that women in these sector would be completely safe but still not safe in the textile industry consequently section 66 sub section 1b of the act was ruled unconstitutionally by the high court and proclaimed that female in the fishing industry should also be given more or less the same protection as some of those provided for note read it carefully that however the union government has decided to amend the provision to provide for women working in late night shift in it industries call center and many more parliament passed an amendment to the factory act in the 1948 that allowed women to work the night shift in factories so that the later on after the amendment it is allowed to women to work till night in the factories as well now we come to the provisions for separate latrines and urinals as is your right to get separate latrines and urinals as it also related to your personal hygiene and personal thing also in the factories act 1948 makes it obligatory for every factory to maintain an adequate number of latrines and urinals of the prescribed type separately for men and women worker and there should be a separate latrines and urinals for men and women such facilities are to be conventionally situated and accessible to workers at all time while they are in the factory so such facilities should be available to both the workers whether it's male or female every latrine is required to be under cover and so partition off as to secure privacy and have a proper door and fastening as uh, the area should be properly covered and to maintain a privacy for both whether it's male or female again sweepers are required to be employed to keep latrines and urinals and washing places clean as is all related to your person high seen so the factory should uh, keep a sweeper that will clean the latrines and urinals and the washing spaces as if uh, they are clean and will re- Uh, rise to certain diseases also, uh, which are harmful for the employee. Standard of construction and the scale of the latrine accommodation to be provided for men and women workers are contained in the rules framed by the concerned state government. So there should be according to the rules and regulation which are given or concerned by the state government. Now we come to the provision for separate washing facilities. uh it is covered under section 42 sub section 1b of the factories act 1948 that the separate and adequate screen washing facility should be provided for the use of male and wo- female workers such facilities shall be conventionally conveniently accessible and shall be kept clean however the state government is empowered to prescribe standard of adequate and suitable facilities for washing now we come to the crutches and it's very important and it's covered under section 48 of the factories act that provides in every factory where in more than 30 women workers are ordinarily employed there should be provided and maintained a suitable room and rooms for the use of children under the age of 6 years of such women just factory mein 30 se zyada women workers hain wahan pe crutch hona chahiye ek room hona chahiye suitable bachcho ke liye till the age of 6 okay क्योंकि सिक्स इयर्स तक का बच्चा बहुत छोटा होता है तो क्रेचेस की फैसिलिटीज वुमेन वर्कर्स को देनी चाहिए एंड इट्स मस्ट सच रूम शेल प्रोवाइड एडुकेट अकोमोडेशन शेल बी एडुकेट लाइटेड एंड वेंटिलेटेड शेल बी मेंटेन इन अ क्लीन एंड सैनिटरी कंडीशन एंड शेल बी अंडर द चार्ज ऑफ वुमेन क्लीन इन द केयर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन एंड इन्फेंट्स आज ये नहीं है कि आप कोई भी रूम उठा के दे दोगे कि नहीं भाई बच्चे हैं रखने हैं लाइक लेबर क्लास है एंड नो दे हैव इक्वल राइट टू एवरीथिंग सो आपको एडुकेट अकोमोडेशन देना है लाइट होनी चाहिए वहां पे वेंटिलेटेड होना चाहिए लाइक चिल्ड्रन विल नॉट फील 
any kind of suffocation there और वो जगह साफ होनी चाहिए सैनिटाइज होनी चाहिए प्रॉपर कंडीशन में होनी चाहिए एंड वहां पे उनका ध्यान रखने के लिए एक वुमेन भी होनी चाहिए बिकॉज द चिल्ड्रन आर वेरी स्मॉल एंड दे नीड प्रॉपर केयर एंड अटेंशन द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैव बीन गिवन वाइट पार्ट टू मेक रूल्स फॉर द बेनिफिट एंड वेलफेयर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन फॉर वर्किंग मदर्स एंड टू प्रोवाइड फैसिलिटीज टू मदर इन दिस जगह and the state government they like they had done their best to provide facilities to the women who are working with their children with their small children in fact as a uh, women can work after they have having the children so now we come to the general provisions one to provide health measures the occupier of factory is obliged to undertake following measures for ensuring good health and physical fitness of workers whether male or female now the cleanliness and disposal of waste and influents the occupier is required to keep the factory premises clean and free from waste and if we are he shall make arrangement for sweeping and removing dirt and refuse cleaning daily cleaning with disinfectant effective treatment and disposal of waste and influence and maintaining power drainage uh, skin one is the ventilation temperature and humidity clean first one i discuss karte hain like cleanliness and disposal of waste hona chahiye ki like uh, cleanliness is must in every factory each and every factory as you cannot allow or you cannot force workers whether female or male to work in such a dirty or not clean place because it's very difficult for them to work in such discomfort zone okay now we come to the ventilation temperature and humidity as the place where the workers whether female or male are working should be proper ventilation and temperature should be given you cannot force them to work in such heat or cold or an humidity okay you cannot the factory premises should be adequately ventilated by circumstance so fresh air and comfort temperature should be maintained in every workroom besides artificially increased humidity should be controlled by use of purified water okay you cannot force them to drink any kind of water the water should be clean and it's your duty it's factory duty to provide them uh now we come to the prevent dust and fumes accumulation and inhalation of dust and fumes and other impurities of such a nature is likely to be injurious to health of a worker should be prevented by use of exhaust fan and other safeguards as uh, a worker is uh, inhaling or uh, taking breath of such a dust or fumes it will be very harmful for the worker and will lead to very de- various diseases and uh, so proper safeguards should be taken like exhaust fans and uh, other safeguards should be taken place now we come to the fourth one that is avoid overcrowding now you have to provide a proper space to every worker to work in the workplace you cannot force them to work in such a small area or you cannot just put people in a room to work where they have no workplace to work uh, where they found it very very exhaustive very crowded or full of people no proper workplace should be given to every worker now the workplace should not be overcrowded by worker of minimum work space of 14.2 cubic meter per worker in a new factory and a 919 meter per worker in the existing factory should be provided okay jo न्यू फैक्ट्रीज हैं लाइक जो बन रही हैं लाइक जो उसके बाद हुई है उनको 14.2 क्यूबिक मीटर हर एक वर्कर को देना होगा एंड जो 
फैक्ट्रीज प्री एग्जिस्टिंग है जो पहले से चल रही है उनको कम से कम 9.9 क्यूबिक मीटर स्पेस देना होगा ओके गाइस नाउ वी कम टू द फिफ्थ वन दैट इज द लाइटनिंग एंड ड्रिंकिंग वाटर इट इज मस्ट दैट द प्रॉपर लाइटनिंग शुड बी गिवन टू एवरी एम्प्लॉय एज इट इज नॉट प्रॉपर लाइटनिंग एंड इफ दे आर वर्किंग इन सच अ कंडीशन दैट इट विल लीड टू हार्म देम सेल्फ्स ओनली एंड अ प्रॉपर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर शुड आल्सो बी गिवन टू देम इफ दे आर ड्रिंकिंग अनहेल्दी वाटर और द वाटर इज नॉट प्यूरीफाइड इट विल लीड टू वेयर्स डिसीज एंड इट टर्न्स टू बी द वर्स्ट Sufficient and suitable natural and artificial light holds on drinking water in a suitable point and during hot season, cool water. In fact, is employed two fifty plus and more workers should be employed. Now we come to the second, that is to undertake safety measures. Every factory must take appropriate safety measures as provided under the Act. That is the fencing of all dangerous and moving parts of the machinery while in motion or use. the second one is providing suitable striking gear or other such devices for the movement of driving belts for any transmission machinery and proper locking of device which can shift in inevitably from off to on position keeping floor strings uh, steps etc free from obstruction and uh, slippery substances and provided with substant substantial handrail Wherever necessary, okay. Now fourth, that is taking necessary precautions and providing screens or goggles for protection of eye. Precaution to prevent exposure to dangerous fumes, gases, or dust, and major to prevent accumulation of exposure to unfavorable dust, fumes, gases. More, providing safe major of escape in case of fire, necessary fire. fighting equipments and training workers about use of such equipment now we discuss them that fencing should be provided uh on or off button should be in the position floor vagera saaf hone chahiye koi slippy nahi hona chahiye that it will lead to the risk of the workers like uh, if they are having any kind of precaution like a screen or goggles should be provided to the workers that it do not harm their eyes Okay, then the dust will go and the fumes is many more, and uh, safety measures related to the fire must be taken place in the factory. Now we come to the third, that is the welfare amenities. Okay, uh, every factory provide adequate and suitable facilities for sitting arrangement for employee who are required to work in standing position in order that they will take short rest in the course of their work. like uh, if uh, they have a long duty to stand so a proper rest break should be given to the worker first aid boxes should be given or cupboards equipment which uh, the prescribed content shall be provided ambulance room when five or more hundred workers are ordinarily employed in a factory okay there's a condition applied on it the ambulance room shall be of the prescribed size having equipment medical and nursing staff as prescribed which shall be made readily available during any working hour a canteen where ordinary 250 plus workers are employed in the factory now we come to a case law that is parimal chandra raha versus life insurance corporation of india in the year 1995 this is a leading case of the subject where the supreme court ruled where there is a statutory obligation example under the factory act uh, to provide uh, and maintain a canteen for the use of its employees the canteen becomes a part of the establishment of the workers employed in such canteen are the employees of management now we come to second where there is no statutory obligation but there is otherwise obligation or employer to provide a canteen such as a part of service condition the canteen become the part of the establishment and the 185 workers employed in such canteen are of the employees of the management now we come to the 6 c where there is no obligation to provide a canteen but there is an obligation to provide facility to run canteen the canteen does not become as a part of the establishment okay now there is a case law another that is the hari shankar sharma and others versus artificial lens manufacturing corporation and others in 
the supreme court case held that and the supreme court held that the employees of a statutory setup or of any other facility provided by the establishment in discharge of statutory mandate need not necessarily be employees of the establishment as section 46 of factory act leaves it to the discretion of establishment to resort to direct employment or to employ a contractor or their status depends upon the manner of discharge of statutory obligation there it was further held that the condition in the agreement between the contractor and the establishment that the new contractor should retain the employee who had served under the earlier contractor would not necessarily mean that such employees were employees of the establishment now we come to the fourth one that is the annual leave with wages a worker who works for 240 days is allowed an annual leave with wages at the rate of one day of every 20 day of work annual leave can be accumulated up to 30 days of for adult and 40 days for children the annual leave pay is to be paid at the average rate of the daily wages immediately preceding the leave this will include basis and other allowances except bonus and overtime okay and will leave and waiters a right for every worker to have because leave is must and a break is must for every employee now we come to the conclusion uh, it is now clear that in factory act that provides health safety and welfare of women workers that it's very clear that the factory act is work for the welfare and safety of the women workers unfortunately all of these provisions are applicable to the organized sector which employ barely 10 percent of the total female labor force so there's urgently need to extend this provision to unrecognized sector we are majorly of women work exactly and it's on point in factory act the hours of work for men and women working in perimenal factories are the same as present it is therefore necessary to reduce the hour of work from nine to six for women because they have to work both inside their house homes as well as outside a woman worker is both a domestic dulge as well as wage earner it is in the interest of working women and her family to set special limit to their hour of work so hopefully you get to know about the factory act under the additional provisions which are regulating the employment of women in factories uh if you have any problem regarding anything you can mention in the comment section or you want any other topic regarding anything you can mention in the comment also and if you're new to the channel if you like the video so please don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button Till then, bye-bye and all the best for the further future.